Hey guys, how's it going? So have you ever thought about uh, what you could do to protect your rims from uh, getting chalky looking, brake dust buildup, road salt, all the road mishaps and things, you know, the wheels see all kinds of stuff, right? And we can keep them from building up over time if we pr properly protect it right. And that's what this video is all about. It's gonna show you exactly how we go about prepping um, a rim to have it um, coated. In this case, uh, we're just coating the face of the rims um, yeah, let us know if you have any questions, but it's pretty, pretty straightforward, and uh, we'll be happy to help you any way we can. Definitely worth the investment. I'm pulling the rim a little bit so we can show you a little bit more of the details of this rim. This is a nice Lincoln Navigate, uh, Aviator, and uh, brand new, by the way. You're going to see uh, in the video here shortly just how much more gloss is added to these rims once we get done with it. So, hope you uh, enjoy the video. Again, let us know if we can do anything for you. Right, so we've got the uh, the rim prepped, um, cleansed, detoxed. Now we have the ceramic coating installed and we're just kind of waiting on it to uh, cure a little bit. We're usually going to give it uh, a couple of minutes, somewhere between three to five minutes on an average. Uh, it gives it enough time to start bonding. You'll actually notice that when you begin to remove it with a soft, clean microfiber towel, it's got some friction behind it, kind of resisting you to rub it off. That's what you want. Once we get to that point, we know that the coating itself is bonded well and we're just removing the excessive amount. So we're gonna leave it set on there for a few more minutes and we'll come back and wipe it off. All right, now it's time to begin taking off this coating residue that we put on there. You notice that the gloss is being restored real nicely here. But take your time when you're removing this stuff because you wanna make sure you get all of it off. The excessive amount, you just don't want to sit there, otherwise it'll well, it'll kind of look like a shadow on it. Move your rag around every so often. That stuff starts caking up on your rag and you don't want to drag it across and get scratched. Now, not every coating on the market out there is made for your rims. This one's made specifically for this kind of environment, so that's why we use what we did. All right, now that we've gotten all that residue off, you can see the nice gloss and shine that it's left onto our rim. Now we'll finish curing. It does take it about 24 hours for it to cure and be ready for inclement weather conditions. Should we get any water on it in the meantime, we're just gonna wipe it off. Now we won't, but I'm just saying in your case, if you do, it's gonna stay in the shop here for me overnight. And tomorrow it'll be ready to go. All right, guys, looks like it's a wrap here. Rim turned out pretty nice. Got all the residue of the coating all taken off now and the rest of it's gonna be there to stay. We're gonna let it cure uh, for a good 12 to, four, uh, 12 to 24 hours. And then it'll be ready for inclement weather conditions. We are Dr. Otta Spa, located just outside of Roanoke, Virginia, serving most of Southwestern Virginia. Be honored to do uh, some service for you and your favorite car. So let us know what we can do for you. Hope you have an awesome day. Catch you next time.